What's up? I'm Coach Alex over at Zero Gravity Gymnastics and Cheer. Uh, going to be going over some fundamentals for our uh, vaulting drills. Um, first thing we're going to kind of focus on is breaking up the running uh, portion, you know, um, giving some arm motions, giving some leg motions, uh, some things to um, simplify the biomechanics of that for the kids. So first thing I like to start with is uh, focusing on just the arm motions. So I have them sit down in a little pike sit right here. And we've got Avery Berger, woohoo, she's a level eight. So this is super hard for her. Um, bend your arms. I want you to give me like 50 pumps with your arms. Okay. <clears throat> and you can see she's got perfectly 90 degrees. She's using the biomechanics to create that bounce freeze. Okay, so you can see like when she's working that motion, she's getting that bounce up and down. And what that's kind of teaching the kids is that when that motion is happening, they're creating energy by doing it correctly. Give me uh, 20 more. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so obviously she's keeping her midsection really tight. She's got legs tight, squeezing bottom. Um, that's just kind of helping her create that rhythm. Some kids are going to struggle with it on the floor, so we'll move them up to the trampoline. <clears throat> and obviously this gets a little bit more silly and a little bit more fun, but same thing, a little slower, a little slower motion and get a little bigger bounce. And you can see how slowing it down, making it simpler for the kid is gonna help them understand that motion. And again, they're not really gonna understand it, they're just gonna, their body will kind of learn naturally that that motion creates power, creates energy. So again, it's something fun for them to do, especially on the trampoline, get the little ones doing it and they're, it's pretty effective for getting that arm motion. So again, breaking up the arm motion away from the legs, and then we'll bring them over to the runway. Come here. And just start on the uh, little white line. And so then we'll move to the leg work. And again, um, the little ones aren't gonna be able to work the arms as perfectly uh, with the legs, so we kind of break it up. We'll have them do just the leg work. So um, go hands on the hips and butt kick all the way down. And right here, okay, this is working on the, the push through the ground. They're getting that heel to that full range of motion. That's kind of the, the key there. Um, again, they're getting lots of repetitions in. It's not about speed. I don't want them going quickly across the one way. Go again. It's about getting the repetition and focusing on staying on the balls of the feet, working the plyometrics, getting that heel all the way up to that booty. Very good. All right, now we're gonna work the arms and I wanna see high knees all the way down. Okay, pretty normal one, getting those knees up above waistband. Look at those arm motions. Okay, she's really, really working that opposition through the arms. Uh, she's got a nice pointed toe through the ground, so she's really applying that push through the floor. That's, uh, again, kind of the full range of motion. One more. You can see here, just getting that good range of motion. Perfect form. Very nice. Okay. Um, next one, I want to see skip for height. Um, this is making, uh, not a deer run. There you go. So this one here is really focusing on pushing through the ground. So um, something that the kids are going to struggle with when they're running is getting that fluid push through the floor and uh, repelling the body all the way through just from one leg motion. Go again, skip nice and high for me. Up, 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 as high as she can. And again, you can see arms are working really good, uh, but when you're working with the little ones, the, the arms will be all over the place, but that's okay. Because uh, we just want to focus on what the legs need to do to kind of develop that push through the ground or push through the run. Um, next one is speed skip. So now we're working on just skimming the surface of the runway as fast as possible. Go speed, skip, speed, skip. Very good. Good, good, good. One more, bring it back. Again, you can see she's got good opposition, but she's really trying to just skim the surface. Um, and I got a lot of this stuff from my buddy, uh, Zach Crumpton over at Cypress Academy. He's an awesome vault coach. Me and him always really battle it out. So that's kind of our key there. Um, let's see what else we got. And if you want to, if we can get a little bit more advanced, like say you're running a, an older age group, something that they might be able to do, um, you can kind of mix the two. So give me a skip run. So skip on one leg, run on the next. Skips on one leg, she runs on the next. There you go. Go for it again. Skip, and then she runs. Skip, one leg running, one leg skipping. So now she's, again, just kind of working the coordination and then she's moving those biomechanics. She's teaching that push through the floor. Um, what's another one? Deer run. So show me that deer run you almost did. Boom, push. So this is working the form of the run, okay, and mixing in that push through the leg that the skip was teaching. Go. And then you'll see this transfer into their sprint as they get uh, way faster into it. Um, that's pretty much all I do for the running. There's a couple other ones that I could 
go into for coordination, like uh, hopscotch. Give me a real short hopscotch. Just go two, one, two, one, two, one. And again, this is something fun for them to do. You can lay down polka dots, lay down um, the hula hoops. That's good. And uh, again, it's just kind of working the footwork and it's helping build the um, biomechanics of uh, the fast run and the coordination that they're going to need for good running. So that's the running part.